Good morning, everyone. So we are very happy to talk about Akraino Edge Stack today. So I'm going to repeat some of the content that the previous speaker talked about. Why do we really need edge computing, right? So uh, traditionally, for the last couple of years, we've been moving all the workloads into a centralized cloud. Either it is a private cloud or it's a public cloud. It's, it, we were all moving towards the centralized cloud. So the number of location of the centralized cloud, it is in the range of like, you know, it starts from 10 to 50 in that range, right? The application which is getting deployed into the centralized cloud, they were not latency sensitive. They were able to withstand the latency of like 25 to 200 millisecond. So this is an average latency. Even though the centralized cloud has been deployed in a 50 or 100 location, it's still in the range of the 25 to 200 millisecond. So why do we need edge computing in that case? So the new application, there are a lot of emerging technology that is really coming up in the industry today. So NFE edge infrastructure, this is very important to understand. This is a telco use case. So 5G is really going to change how the telcos have been operating, how the users are experiencing the connectivity. And the 5G is being virtualized today, and that is actually going in edge computing. The other thing is autonomous devices. So we're going to see a lot of uh, you know, like autonomous devices, either it is a car, uh, either it is a drone. Right now, there is an introduction phase right now. But over a period of time, you know, like in the next couple of years, we're going to see a lot of autonomous devices coming up in the market. The third thing is the immersive experiences. So, so we are using our cell phone. We are using actually TV to watch, uh, let's say that, uh, you know, a sports program. But the technology is changing. And we may be wearing a AR, VR glass that is going to show us a 360 view of a stadium. And the fourth one is the industrial IoT. And uh, there is a many, many use cases for industrial IoT. All this application, they require less than 20 milliseconds. Why they require less than 20 milliseconds? The processing is really needed faster in order for that application to really support what's happening in real time. This is important to understand. So with that latency measure, less than 20 milliseconds, the centralized way of deployment across the globe, it is not going to support what we really needed to support this edge application. So the 20 millisecond, it is really the key. Is it all edge application is really going to require 20 millisecond? The answer is no, because even some application may require like five millisecond to really support it. And also there is a lot of data is getting generated at the edge. If you're trying to process all the data in the centralized cloud, what's going to happen is that the pipe that carry the data from the user, whatever the device is, towards that centralized cloud, we really need a larger pipe. Already the telcos are already supporting very large pipe to carry petabytes of data. With all these new devices coming up, new technology coming up, we really need a very, very large pipe. And that is a lot of expense for uh, telcos. And it increases the cost, how the consumer is consuming this technology. So that's why we really need uh, edge computing. So how is this Akraino Edge Stack community is going to support this edge computing? There is really three pieces this Akraino Edge community is trying to address. So the bottom piece is the fully integrated open edge stack. So what does this really mean, right? So we have uh, components from open stack, we have components from container, the, and there are many other communities developing operational tools. We really need a fully integrated stack in order to support the edge computing. Because when we talk about centralized cloud, we talked about like 50 location or 100 location in that range. But when you talk about edge computing, it could be a very, very small box sitting in a cell tower, or it could be sitting in a customer location, or it could be a larger instance of edge cloud, which could be sitting in the telco offices. So there is a notion that people think that, you know, like edge cloud is always a smaller box sitting somewhere. It is not true. It could be a smaller box, or it could be a couple of racks of equipment sitting actually in a, in a telco office or a provider location, or anything in between. In order to support the smaller boxes or this larger instance, 
Now we are talking about in order to support the 20 millisecond, we need a large number of location to be deployed with respect to the edge computing. Even to deploy edge, you know, like the centralized cloud in you know, like 100, less than 100 location, it is complex. We need a lot of tools and we need a lot of consistency in the open source to really maintain it. But now we're talking about you know, like a large number of location. We really need a fully integrated platform in order to support it. And we all support open source. And in, in open source, there are many other components need to come together to really support that fully integrated stack. So this community will focus on that to deliver irrespective of, you know, like either it is a small instance need to run in a cell tower or in a customer location, or it is a larger instance it need to, you know, like run on a telco offices. All this different blueprint, this community would address it. Then in the top, we can see that edge application. Okay, so without this edge application, the platform itself is not going to be useful, right? So there need to be an application running on this platform. So there need to be a way for open source way of developing this edge application. Either it is an NFP, telco application, or it is actually a, you know, AR, VR based application or any type of that edge application that we talked about. We need a place where we can actually develop this application. So this community would address that particular application development as well. So in order to have the platform and application to connect and communicate together, in you know, a large instance of you know like edge uh, edge instances, we need a common platform API layer, and that is also very important because if we don't have that abstraction of common API layer, then it is very hard to have the application working together with the platform, especially on this large scale. So this community would address that development of edge middleware and API as well. So if we look at this in the totality, so we got a platform which is really all the communities coming together and integrating a platform which can actually deploy in the edge location in a large scale. Then we have a edge middleware and API which provide you that abstraction layer to connect then the application. So in totality, this is what we're calling as an Akarino edge stack. There is a lot of community effort currently being carried out in OpenStack and there is an OpenStack edge working group, uh, and then we have a lot of other activities happening in the other community as well. This particular community is really going to bring those people together in terms of connecting them and bringing these three pieces together and packaging them for the benefit of the industry, benefit of the user, and making this edge happening. The one of the key thing I always hear, because we had uh, a Crino summit, last week, and we had a, many sessions, and we had off-day mini summit last week. The one thing I hear about from the application people is, how do I support the application if there is no platform, right? If you talk to a platform person, they say that, you know, like, how do I support it if there is no application? So it is really mutual, you know, like, work need to be done in order to support this whole end-to-end, -end, you know, edge. So this community is really making sure that edge can really can make it happen. And uh, that's what this community is really about. Thanks, Condon. Sure. So one of the things that we really wanted to make sure was clear to all of you is that the intention of the Acrano community is that it's complementary to a lot of the existing upstream projects that exist today. So specifically, as you guys are probably aware as part of the OpenStack community, there is a lot of work going on in OpenStack today with a very active edge working group to try to define the features and the capabilities that are needed within OpenStack to uniquely serve Edge. Um, and you know, Beth's here, she's been leading this effort with many others, and this is critical work. There's a lot of other things that are going on in the context of the rest of the community as well, whether it be an OPNFE, you've seen announcements this week from AT&T around Airship, Intel's announcements around Starling X. There's a lot of other assets that are gonna come to play to really drive the innovation and align the industry. And Acrano is intended to pull those together into unique blueprints that will serve the variety of use cases that Condon just spoke about. Maybe. There we go. Um, so what have we been up to? 
Um, this is a very new effort. Um, you may have seen the announcement in February of the creation of the project. And then there's been kind of this rolling thunder of companies that have put their names up publicly around their participation and support. In addition, there is a long list of folks who are in the process of, of getting on board as well, including Enterprise Edge and Industrial Edge players. And we think that this is really, really critical because if we're going to achieve the vision that has been established for this community, these APIs, these SDKs, need to work across all of Edge, not just Telco Edge. We did have a meetup last week um, in Portland that Intel hosted, and it was it, we had a great vibrant discussion. There's a lot of storming and norming happening with regard to the community and where we're headed, um, and it's all these voices working together that will really enable our success. And finally, we've had many conversations here at the OpenStack Summit, and those are going to need to continue in order to really advance this cause. And so finally, our hope is that it is in this community that we will be able to um, figure out how to move this forward. The vision of EDGE is robust. I think a lot of people are really excited about it. But there's a lot of complexity that needs to be streamlined and sorted through in order to have the ability to scale across vendors, across distributions, um, but really enable these use cases across the globe. So we thank you for your attention and your support, and we look forward to you being part of the community and collaborating with us to drive this forward. Thank you. Thank you.